Hi and welcome back. I'm real excited to take you on an interior video tour of our 2016 Renegade Classic. This coach we refer to as our IWS exclusive mid-entry design. We really wanted to design a coach that was very luxurious and has a lot of high-end amenities, but also a coach that you could take out camping and it would be equally at home there. And I really think as we get through the tour, you're gonna to see that we did a great job of hitting the mark, if I don't say so myself. As we start here into the kitchen area, notice we wrapped everything in stainless steel. All the cabinets are handcrafted maple. We also included floor lighting on this. So it has all the LED lighting accents that you would expect in a standard Renegade but we really felt we kind of upped it a little bit with this beautiful kitchen. As you can see, all of the drawers are dovetailed. They also have the soft closed drawer feature. This is as good of craftsmanship as you can buy out there on planet Earth today. As we move around in the galley area, notice we put two extra outlets on the kitchen counter. Also put in full depth residential sinks with a large single lever spout with a full length retractable faucet end on it so you can reach down in and wash pots and pans out. We're gonna move around over here and show you the 1.5 cubic foot convection microwave. You know, I've said it before on other videos, we like these microwaves so much we installed the same one in our home. Now we're gonna move down and talk a little bit about the three burner gas cooktop. We really wanted this coach to have the feel of being in the outdoors and that's why we went with the gas stove. You know, there's nothing like the smell of bacon and eggs when you're out in the mountains uh, cooking on a frying pan. Here's a look at the 13 cubic foot RV refrigerator. This one has, runs off of either LP or 110 electric. Notice it has an ice maker and a water dispenser. Here's a shot of the AV cabinet area. Notice there's an AC bin inside there to help keep all of the electronics cool. This is an Onkyo home theater system. We also installed on this coach a Wi-Fi Ranger Wi-Fi booster and also a roof mounted cell phone booster. Here you can see the 42 inch TV coming out on a motorized slide into the middle of the coach. When you're driving down the road or using the bunk, you can slide the TV out of the way. If you're, if, you know, in the evening, if you want, you can run the TV out. Here's a nice shot of the over cab bunk, and we put a lot of effort into this. Notice by the window, there's shelves with 110 chargers, so if your kid or a guest is sleeping in the bunk, you got a place to charge your cell phones. Also, you got a place to put a drink. Here's a shot of the DVD player and TV that's mounted in the roof of the bunk. All of our classics we install whenever possible, a roof escape hatch, and it's also a great place to go up on the roof to view from. Here's a close-up shot of one of them shelves I was talking about. Now on this coach, we put the removable uh, plug in here, but also notice the carpet on each side. So as you're entering into the cab area, it gives you a place to put a laptop or your purse. Um, it just really works good. Now we're gonna just give you some quick shots of the interior of this Freightliner. This is an M2-112 with 470 horsepower. It has 1,650 foot-pounds of torque. I mean, this is a motorhome that's gonna run up and down the freeway 75 miles an hour, uphill, downhill, all day long. We're gonna move around to the other side of the coach now and talk a little bit about the amenities on what in the RV world they would refer to as the street side. As you can see, the cabinets are immense on this coach. You almost get lost when you're looking at all the storage space here, trying to remember where you stored everything, but our customers keep asking for more storage and we keep delivering. One thing to point out on this motorhome is that it has a full seven foot, six inch ceiling height on it. So it really allows us to put a lot taller cabinets in it. Also notice the solid wood window valances that we installed on this coach. As with all of our coaches, whenever possible, we install flex steel furniture. We really think it's the best furniture out there. This coach has a full air mattress under it. It also has three seat belts, so if you got kids with your guests, you have a place to seat belt them in. 
Now as we move around, here's a shot of the hutch in the back. Also notice there's a 110 outlet above the hutch so you can run a cell phone there. Um, you know, with today's uh, electronics, we feel having lots of 110 outlets and charging areas is very important. I really think the overhead hutch here with the glass doors was a nice feature that we added. It, it really just kind of adds a level of elegance to the coach. Now as we move around to the entrance area, this is kind of the crown jewel of this coach. As, as you come in from the outside, you have a place to hang your coats or your waders. There's an area there to stack your winter boots. You can lean a shotgun in the corner. When kids are coming in from outside and they're turning the switches on and off, we put stainless here so they're not uh, tearing up the wood or the wallboard is not getting dirty. It's real easy to clean. But we wanted an area where if water's dripping off all of your coats, it'll go down into the step well. We bedlined all that so the water will run out. And I just, I think it's just a really nice entrance on this coach. It's also really nice because you know, if you're tailgating or something and guests are using it, it's just in and to the left to the bathroom. They don't have to walk all the way through the coach. We also set all the controls up for this coach right here by the entryway. So as you walk into the coach, you can start the generator. Everything's right there within easy reach. Now as we move into the bathroom area, it's really hard to show how big this thing is in the video, but by not having a private toilet, we were able to really make the bathroom the full width of the coach. As with all of our high-end coaches, we install the macerator toilet as we just showed you there. It has a really large vanity in it, medicine cabinet. Also notice there's a magazine rack behind the toilet. Lots of lights. You know, as I get older, it's harder to see, so we keep asking Renegade to put more and more lights inside of these coaches. Also notice the padded walls in the bathroom really add a level of elegance to this coach. Now as we move around to the street side of the coach, you're gonna see this large spacious shower. And, you know, I'm over six foot tall and almost 250 pounds. And this is one of the first showers that I really fit in. And my wife loves them because there's an area for her to sit down in there. And I just can't say enough good about this corner shower. Here's a linen closet we put into this. There's tons of storage. You can take the bottom shelves out and we can turn that into a hamper for dirty clothes if you want. Now we're gonna move into the back bedroom or the master bedroom if you will. And in this coach, it really is a master bedroom. And as you can see, we installed a rear mounted window. When all the shades are up, the light just really comes into the room and opens the thing up. It's hard filming these with the windows open, so you kind of just got to you know, imagine with me how bright it is in there. Here we're going to show all the different lighting levels, so each person has their own you know, option of lighting if they want to read or you know, want to get up in the middle of the night without disturbing somebody. There's lots of different lighting elements. On this coach, we've put a nightstand on each side of the bed. Also put a 110 outlet on each side of the bed. We've also installed floor level lighting, so if you get up at night, you can just turn the floor lights on. In this bedroom, there's four different 110 outlets, so everywhere you look, there's a cord. This coach, we installed full cedar, cedar lined rear closet. And as you can see, the curtain rail goes all the way behind the TV. They've also done a great job of boxing in all the wires, so you don't see wires when you look behind it. With these Renegades, you know, there's just more than just what's on the outside. It's all the craftsmanship that's behind the scenes that really sets this coach apart from any other coach. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is a coach that I'm personally very proud of. And I just can't say enough good about this floor plan design. If you'd like to know more, give us a call or stop by. We'd be glad to take you on a test drive. As always, thanks for spending a little of your time with us.